when you have a match like this, the result really balancing on a knife edge, that's when things are the most tense. Emotions are running high, and the fear of failure lingering in the air. Unfortunately, one team is going home. Who will it be? With so many, or so little episodes left. But you have to admit, after coming up from nowhere, having pretty much nothing to their name other than past glories that aren't really attributed to them. The Crows have done well. Are we starting with the little recap to show you what just transpired? Really equalising the score up. Bring us ever closer to, to victory. <laughs> so we can now be going on for hours to come. Is there an actual limit to... Uh, to how it goes, as long as no one actually gets a, that two-point lead. But for... For our team, who is still trying to work things out amongst themselves, having disagreements already as it is, I'm exactly working as a completely well-oiled team to not only beat as many teams as they have, but also uh, come and clutch this closely with a team that is actually skilled, dangerous. And been uh, talked about quite a lot. But the journey to the top is a long and arduous one. Probably going to be filled with a bunch more very dumb moments. Oh, really? Haven't stopped in... In the slightest, with their, uh, with their chanting. <laughs> they have some very skilled players out there. Depending on the rotation, things can be even more difficult. And with members of his old team who left him to toss by himself, really showing how far he's come is one thing. I like how it is. We're seeing the full volley now, back and forth each time, rather than cutting any of it, and how much Hinata is moving. But the tiny little prod. Perfect landing. <laughs> oh. 
if his jumps are losing power, he can't do the same thing, but with them still imagining that they are putting up the full defense. I'm guessing they're about to uh, equalize it once more. Yeah, right now we're just It's back to the status quo of well, no one being ahead. But with everything on the line now, everyone trying to prove themselves further. I'm guessing it's up to everyone right now. Out. <laughs> it's getting to him. If he dropped a serve there. And that lead was just yeah, shut down. <laughs> this really back and forth every, each and every time it's being equaled out, nullified completely. If they haven't been to nationals, they are going to fight even harder now to prove themselves. Especially since there's some people amongst the uh, the opposition team. <laughs> this is going to be a fair few points in, isn't it? I've played their hearts out this match. Is anyone going to be able to even stand in the morning? I mean, as energy is wearing off, Damn, they, uh, the little chanting from the sidelines. It's giving him too much power. <laughs> the fear of immediate and physical repercussion. <clears throat> well, you've managed to pull him through that little moment. That is kind of a look of confidence you don't want to see. Everyone has to start somewhere. <laughs> and with a flash through of his life up until this point, this isn't going to be another failed serve. Yep, the fact that he did stop it in the first place. It's so much to think about all at once. Are they going to be able to make it?
You know, maintain your energy, don't exhaust yourself. What's really going to bring out his seriousness in the game? And it's back over the net. Really, the whole... <laughs> Keeping energy in the back pocket, able to keep playing and keep jumping. Oh no. Tap. And after all of that, it's still only one point. And he's came so far, and where he looks so happy. Wow, he is so dejected and out of it. We're in the middle of the match still. Pull yourself to give. <laughs> he still has the energy to duck. <laughs> it's not over yet. Behind him, 100%. Even if he is, it's not uh, him and the pedantry. If nothing else, we've got him to shed that atmosphere surrounding him. I mean, are we just going to spend the entire next episode with everyone just recuperating after this one? But is he going to lose today? A float? Really, uh, at this point, a slightly half ass can't really do much about it. Back and forth. But can he? Keep it going. How much longer have we even got left of the episode for this one rally? Well, that was nice animation. But that little grin there. Oh, not the slow mo now. It's a 
Yeah, not today. That was so incredibly drawn out. The first proper match of a tournament that has been lost there for them. They played well. They got as far as they could as in their current format. Their current strengths. He looks almost traumatised. <laughs> ah. And thanks to the last minute kind of pep talk there, So by knowing that they had his strong two mates behind him there, they would go all in. <laughs> Is he worried his glasses are going to fall off? But to have the crowd that were cheering on uh, Sejo applaud them. It was a a good match to watch, at least, even if it was. Yes, there's another match yeah, coming on. Congratulations to them. How far are they going to make it? But much like the first match when we had to follow those that didn't make it through. He was doing so much more than what was kind of expected of them all. It's part luck, part skill, part reading people, all effort. He, he might be there for a while. <laughs> a completely different tone than what we'll be seeing. Or what we've seen all the past... Uh, He doesn't even have shoes on. He managed to play, kept in it until the end. 
even un unsuccessfully. Use it as a stepping stone. If he, if they can stand after this, hmm. if nothing else, play to that. Uh, tale of what do they want to continue or just sit there and wallow <laughs> he's a good advisor But do I have expected that this series ends in a loss for the, uh, the for the tournament there? Maybe go back and check if I said it. <laughs> and there's always that feeling of we're following the underdogs, the kind of protagonists of this story. Of course, they're going to pull through, but this isn't some like battle shonen. In life as in sport, there are going to be ups and downs. As long as they play at their best and learn from it. But also seeing their hard work being recognised by everyone else. They just have to... Ah, it's all worth it then. They just have to try harder in the next one. <laughs> but after, yeah. And they're about to feel the ramifications of all of that. And much like the, the building of muscle, the tearing and regrowth. A direct comparison to what they're currently feeling and going through. A little food helps heal the heal the heart. <laughs> these these sounds, though. <laughs> Eat, grow stronger. There seems to be only a few of them that aren't uh, fully affected there. They've all suffered defeat before. But this one probably hurt quite a lot. Seeing how far they come, if, if they lost on the first match, fair, they weren't that invested, but at the the gates for the semi-finals, if proving themselves was one thing, they have definitely achieved it. No one's going to be taking them too lightly from now on. They've still got training, some practice and friendly games they can do. 
Go to the third years. We're going to be having to find some new talent to add onto the team. We want them. We want to see them do well. Obviously, having this this moment where they acknowledge that they tried their hardest might not have been good enough in this case, but it just means they have to go even further beyond in the future. Continue training, growing. It's really kind of tempered around the setter and our little shrimp. So if we can get all of the team there having the same level of um, dangerousness. Aquarius really can fly high. I just hope they don't drown their sorrows too much in all that food. It's such a thing as overeating. But that back and forth as it was, the... Just how equal the two, ter two teams were for so long. We... We saw it kind of throughout the rest of the matches there, where it was always close. It got a few more than you know, a two-point spread a few times, but... Was it leading towards this? But seeing the level of exhaustion for all of the team, all of the players, I was getting worn out just watching it. Let alone playing volleyball for... How long would that have gone on for? But imagine actually having to run about, jump, keep mentally acute the entire time. Not only for your own actions, your own team, what's going on, but judging and telling them what they're doing. A single lapse is all it can take, and you're throwing the entire game. Or you've managed to be a pinch server and hit it into the net. But this isn't the end. If they can pick themselves up from this, struggle onwards, keep going, they'll be better off for it. Never tasting defeat is a, a danger in of itself. Much like viable life itself, if you manage to pick yourself up, dust yourself down, you can come out better for it on the other side. At least it will teach you not to do certain things in the future. With a heavy heart, I think we have to uh, end the episode here. I really do wonder what we will be getting into for the next one, then. If the, if the tournament for them is over now, we will have... commiserations for a while preparing for what may come next reaching ever higher just like I was saying their growth is astounding it's at such, such a rate it's almost unbelievable so we can expect some good things in the future but for now I hope you enjoyed Consider leaving a like down below, maybe even a comment. Consider subscribing if you want to see more. But if not, don't worry about it. Just hope you continue enjoying Haiki. But for now, grab yourself a bit of rest. Eat well. If you need to, grind to a pillow. I'll see you in the next one. My patrons are always there to take me out for a well-deserved meal for when I'm feeling down. Obviously not at the end of a tournament or anything, because not anything that interesting happens when you're watching anime on the internet. And so if you would like to join in on the team meal that is my channel, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. And alongside Electricant, Noku, Raywin, Kite, Sal, Shiwan, Mats, Gurley, Cardboard, Croyville, Gintman, Jennifer Rojas, D. Firo, Alvin Garsan, Moaha, Defender of Segs, Dark Shadow 7899, Jeremiah, Timo, and everyone else. I really do thank you, but I think we're going to need some more rice.